Hello students. Good morning all of you. In this session, we will discuss about the MOSFET and construction and working of the MOSFET. First, we already discussed what is MOSFET. MOS means metal oxide field effect transistor. Field effect transistor. So the definition of the why it is named as MOSFET will be understand after the completion of this analysis. Okay. The most important MOSFET is most important type of the IGBT, IGFET. Important type in the IGBT. What is IG? IGFET. What is IGFET? Ig means insulated gate fit. Insulated gate field effect transistor. Because the fit is two types. One is BJT, another one is Ig fit. In this Ig fit, MOSFET is very important type. Okay. So we have two types of MOSFETs. Generally, those are the first is the depletion type, and second one is the enhancement type. Depletion, depletion type MOSFET is again two types one is N channel depletion MOSFET another one is P channel depletion MOSFET same here enhancement type also two types one is N channel depletion MOSFET another one is P channel depletion MOSFET First, we will discuss about the depletion MOSFET in that first we will discuss N-channel depletion MOSFET. So first tightly cell depletion MOSFET in that first N-channel depletion MOSFET. So this is this diagram is the construction of the depletion MOSFET. In this we have this N, this N is the drain, drain terminal it is connected to a metallic contact and it is represented with the drain drain is n type material n type semiconductor here the source also connected through a metallic contact and this is also n type semiconductor here p is the the remaining part is the substrate so this p is called as the substrate substrate means the body the remaining inside body of the mosfet and here look at here the between n source and drain again we have a we made with a n type semiconductor that is nothing but the channel this is called the channel actually this name it itself is the channel this is called the channel and this channel will be insulated by this channel will be insulated by the gate here so gate if you look at here this drain and this drain metallic terminal and drain n type material we have a contact here also for source is is a contact but if you observe the between channel and gate there is no contact this is the insulating silicon dioxide insulating material SiO2 insulating material this is SiO2 insulating material there is a contact but there is no contact between gate and this n type semiconductor this this is the n channel okay this is the n channel here here the source you know that that's why here the we have to write one point that is no contact between no contact between channel and gate here we have a channel as well as gate due to this insulating material and the reason is due to the insulating material so due to the insulating material that's why 
so from the gate we have to give the input so that's why input impedance is very high input impedance is very high very high so it is used in low power applications it is used in low power applications low power consumption applications so that's why it will take low power consumption so due to the high impedance it will take very less amount of power why here due to the due to this insulator the less amount of power will be entering into the channel okay that's why it is very very important thing but if it will drain and source source and drain have no impedance directly the current will be entering so here our intention is to we have to this is the fit is the voltage control device that means the current in the source the output current we can take it as a this drain current will be function of the input voltage here the voltage between gate and source we assume as the input and the current flowing through the drain is assumed as the output so this output current is the function of the input voltage function of the input voltage okay that's why by changing this input voltage we have to analyze how the drain current will be varied okay that's why first we will consider gate source voltage equal to zero we will take the first point if we are considering there is no voltage between gate and source this is the first point so if you observe here so this is the diagram there is no voltage between gate and source means gate and source means directly gate and source should be short circuited before that just look at here we have to give drain we have to apply the supply for the drain between drain and the source that's why drain positive terminal is connected to uh, we can take it this is the vds is connected to the drain terminal negative terminal is connected to the source okay this source and body must be short circuited because both are considered as the same we are using the first point vgs is zero vgs is zero means here both are shorted then we, it can represents gate source voltage is zero okay gate source voltage is zero then what happen we have to discuss initially the vds is we are start from zero to and increase some particular value okay initially what happen means whenever there is no gate source voltage the here the negative terminal from this negative terminal electrons will be flow electrons will be flow and this electrons will be flow and push in the source terminal electrons source terminal electrons and through this channel the current will be flows like this the current will be flows like this initially uh, less emo initially the vds is starts from zero uh, as you take it as so here the, we take it as the the current will be increases slowly like this slowly increases like this and whenever drain source current will be increases after particular point the drain source current will become the constant then it will be become straight line wherever it become the straight line the current we can take it so the current electrons flow is like this these are the electrons flow electrons flow and these electrons are attracted towards this positive terminal why this is reverse biased so the complete electrons will be flow through the source to source to the channel channel to the channel from the channel it will be flow from the uh, it will be flow from the flow to the ts so the 
current the electrons will be flow like this the electrons initially will be zero whenever vds is increases then automatically it will become zero after a particular point the current will constant then this current is called as saturation current we can name it as drain source saturation current so this will be whenever gate source will be equal to zero so we can write okay so this is the procedure but this is the electrons flow actually this is the electrons flow but conventional current flow always from reverse of the electrons flow the conventional current flow is this is from the drain to source so drain to source the current will flows like this okay so whenever vgs is zero vgs is zero we can write one point that is current electrons flow from from source to drain source to drain so after particular vds particular vds the current is the current is constant current is constant that current is known as saturation current known as saturation current that current is known as a saturation current so this is for vgs is zero for example if you are applying gate source where voltage value is the negative gate source voltage value is the negative then what happened we have to discuss here so for that purpose so for that purpose what happened we have to discuss here now this time we are applying the voltage that is the negative voltage this is the negative and this is the positive so here the negative voltage so we are giving this time the negative voltage whenever the negative voltage is given the what happen means here electrons will be negative and so this is the elect in this in this gate gate terminal then the electrons negative will be formed this electrons pushes some electrons into outside and some holes are attracted to inside okay at that time the recombination is possible recombination of pole zero is possible then number of electrons in this n channel will be decreases whenever the number of electrons will be decreases then automatically the current value decreases the current value decreases so due to that the what happen means here whenever vgs is negative then automatically the current value is decreases uh, current value current flow from the source to drain is decreases and after some time it will become the constant so this is for gate source equal to 0 volts and this is the gate source equal to assume minus 1 volts so if still this value increases gate source value is negatively increases still the current value still the current value is decreases so gate source value again minus 2 volts and still the gate source value increase uh, decreases then again the current value is decreases so a particular voltage the current the flow from the drain to source become zero particular voltage flow from the drain to source become zero so this gate source voltage at minus 4 volts the current from the drain to source become the zero this voltage is known as the pinch of voltage so at vgs it become zero so this vgs voltage at minus 4 volts we can call it as the vp vp means pinch of voltage pinch of voltage so at this pinch of voltage the current from the drain to source become zero why zero 
whenever these number of all the electrons will be here n channel we have electrons from this p channel some of the holes will be attracted these the free the free electrons all are recombined with these positive charge carriers then there is no free electrons there is no free electrons means there is no current flow that's why current is become zero here so from this we can write what happen here the free electrons recombined with recombined with holes in p semiconductor holes in p semiconductor so free electrons will be decreases trans is decreases that's why the current is also decreases current is decreases next when vgs negative value increases number of free electrons free electrons also decreases so the current will the current will again decreases okay at a particular voltage so we know that at a particular voltage at vgs equal to vp free electrons will be zero free electrons is zero then the current ids is zero this voltage is this voltage is called pinch of voltage pinch of voltage this voltage is called the pinch of voltage okay this is whenever gate source voltage negatively applied if the gate source voltage is positive supply so if the gate source voltage is positive then what happen we have to discuss here so here now gate source voltage is positive for example gate source voltage positive means so here we are giving the positive voltage still we are increasing then what happen here whenever your positive these positive ions will be formed here this positive ions will be formed here so due to these positive ions due to these positive ions here we have some free electrons in this we have number of a very low free electrons is there this again these positive ions attracted by the free electrons these free electrons into the n channel so already we have some free electrons here again number of free electrons will be increases whenever number of free electrons will be increases then the current flow from the source to drain will be increases then the current flow will be increases so that's why whenever gate source voltage is positive gate source voltage is positive so for example this is the plus 1 volts this is the positive then number of free electrons will be increases then automatically the current is the current flow will be increases so still you are increasing then the current flow is follows like this okay so vgs is positive free electrons is increases in channel increases in n channel then the current flow also increases current flow also increases that's why here whenever we are giving the positive supply current flow is increases so this will be flows like this look at here when gate source gate source voltage is negative that time the current value is zero 
that is this voltage is called as pinch off voltage whenever we are increasing the voltage from here the current value increases and minus 2 volts current value increases minus 1 volt current value increases at 0 volts current value increases whenever it become the positive the current value increases the current conveys to current flow drain to source here free electrons is flow from the source to drain source to drain so this is the construction and current flow working of the depletion mosfet okay depletion mosfet now we will discuss the next is transfer characteristics of the depletion type mosfet transfer characteristics means the meaning of this input voltage versus input voltage versus output current so input voltage is output current so here the input voltage is vgs is the input voltage output current is the drain current so look at here whenever vgs value is negative the drain current is zero we slowly in increasing this value minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 zero here the current is also the current is also the current is also increases like this the current is also increases so at 0 volts we have some volt some voltage that voltage value is that voltage value is idss idss okay IDSS. So we have this is the important thing. Whenever input voltage is negative and minus approximately minus four volts, that time drain current is zero. It is increases minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. Then it will reach the drain current a particular value. Then the current will become IDSS this is the transfer characteristics of the depletion MOSFET okay here we can write the formula of the current we can write the formula of the current that is ID equal to IDSS into VGS minus VP whole square VP whole square okay so this is the construction and working of the depletion type MOSFET okay so only one thing these all source drain as the source gate drain have the same semiconductor and substrate as the different type semiconductor and by giving by varying the gate to source voltage by varying the gates to source voltage we can control the drain current so this is the controlling process of the drain to source voltage and drain to source voltage by varying the output voltage with respect to current but it will depend on the input voltage okay so these are the transfer characteristic so i hope i hope all of you understand this session thank you